full sale for my bachelor's in music production. In the industry, I plan to bring back what's missing in the music today, originality and passion. There are a lot of great artists out there that need to be pushed to share that talent, and I am going to be that producer that will make that happen. My topic, the message. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five is one of the groups that have paved the way for many groups such as Public Enemy and N.W.A. This group showed rappers that they could step out of the gangster life and be real and talk about life. That they can still be real about life, but in a way that changed their situation, not add to it. Up and coming rappers didn't feel less of a rapper rapping about the struggles of life. That's the impact Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five had on these coming into the rap game. This song, The Message, was, big, was a big influence in the music in industry because it took you out of the fantasy party life into the reality life, talking to people in a language that everybody could relate to. The message was an influence because also it was being rapped and not sung or put in a story or poem. So many thought rap was all about being a gangster, but Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five showed different. A rap group talking about struggles and living in poverty in the inner city was unusual for a rap group. I feel this should be studied more because rap is just not the same anymore. To me, rap is a show about making money. Rappers now need to listen and study what real rap is all about. It's not about sex or the cars they drive or house they live in, but it's about life and how to survive in the real world and what life is like for real. Many rappers rap about the life they want us to think they live, not the life they really live. If you research this, older rappers like Dr. Dre, Slick Rick, or Curtis Blow, they tell true stories about life and how they fought to get where they're at and how they maintain. As a listener, I began to realize the difference between being a rapper and just being a rapper. Listening to rapping back then is that real true rap that made you think, and this rapping now is just for show, not to help but to hurt. Because rapping now is not inspiration, but a downfall, a realization that life is not about sex, cars, jewelry, or money, but about becoming something and somebody. As an industry professional, I want to educate those new rappers on the old rappers, not to become them, but to learn from them. I feel it's some good rappers out there that has this talent, but are not being given a chance because they are not considered commercial rappers. I want to bring it back. I want to change the rap world to encourage, not to disencourage, with false hope and lies.